Action News Jax has learned the former police chief of Duval County Schools is being accused of criminal misconduct. Good evening. I'm Ben Becker. An unsealed report by a state grand jury accuses Michael P. Edwards of underreporting criminal activity at DCPS schools. Action News Jax, Nick Gibson is live at DCPS. And Nick, you went through the 16-page report and found that Edwards is accused of not reporting, among other things, child abuse and bomb threats. Yeah, that's correct. And I also spoke with our law and safety expert, and he says it's not unusual whenever we see underreported crimes. But he also tells me there's a reason why. A new unsealed grand jury report accuses Michael P. Edwards, a former police chief for DCPS schools, for not reporting certain crimes. What the grand jury does is it establishes some facts. I spoke with Action News Jack's law and safety expert, Dale Carson. According to the report, it states Edwards didn't report more than 2,000 crimes between 2016 and 2019 while in office. Some of those crimes were battery on a school employee, child abuse, and bomb threats. Carson says this isn't unusual that this happens. It's improper, but it's not unusual for crimes to be underreported for a number of reasons. It makes the administration appear as though they are very effective at reducing crime. The report states that in some cases, Edwards ordered the unarrest of individuals. The grand jury cited a legal court that kept it from indicting Edwards on two felonies and one misdemeanor. But that doesn't mean Edwards is in the clear. Based on the document itself, it would seem that the statewide prosecutor is going to take a look in to the facts or the allegations that have been made by the grand jury. The Edwards attorney sent Action News Jax a statement that reads in part, Mr. Edwards has devoted 36 years of his life to protecting and serving the citizens of Duval County. All who have worked with Mr. Edwards would say that he was conscientious, courageous, hardworking, and willing to give his all to improve the work environment. Now, Action News Jax did reach out to DCPS for more comment, and as of now, they have yet to reach back out to us. For local coverage, you can count on reporting from the DCPS headquarters. Nick Gibson, Action News Jax.